She was loved by each and every one of you here. Tonight isn't about mourning her death, but rather celebrating her life by doing what she loved doing the most, music, as well as some of her written words. Uh, although we know it's going to be emotional, try to think about how happy this would make her. She always talked about organizing concerts, so obviously we're all you know, really excited about doing it for her. Uh, Megan and myself will be your MCs for the evening, and uh, we'll try our best to keep everyone obtained, keep everything organized, keep everything uh, flowing as it should and uh, I'll, I'll keep the bad jokes to them, so. Uh, some of you may have seen in the program, there is gonna be an open mic section. The sign up is located, uh, it should be in the back of the room with Yaya, who if anyone is interested in performing, take a look back there. She's wearing a yellow thing right now. I don't know if she'll be wearing that all day, but uh, that is Yaya, for anyone who doesn't know her. Uh, and if you'd like to uh, do anything for them, like, uh, you know, sing a song, or just say a few words, or a uh, short poem, anything, just uh, come up and uh, go up to Yaya and, and let her know, please. Uh, it's going to be first come, first served, and we're going to try and limit the performances to about five minutes, if that's okay. The food and beverages will also be served shortly tonight, um, so they're, they're out there on the table. And the washrooms are located just past these doors right here. Okay. There is also a room at the back here, Yaya, somewhere over here. It's a lounge room. Everyone looks behind, Yaya's pointing to it, uh, for people to relax in. Uh, there is no food allowed in that room but it's super comfy, so if you just need a second to rest, feel free to go into that room. Um, I think that's most of our housekeeping items out of the way. So now for the performances. Um, uh, as some of you might know, uh, Angel loved Korean drumming. It was a huge part of her life. And um, she was really, really, really good at it from what people tell me and from what I've heard myself. So first up, we have Zenshin by The Raging Asian Women. A uh, big round of applause, please, for Zenshin.
Well, that was stellar. My goodness. Thank you, ladies. Um, next up, we got Pichot Junet, which are, they are performing three pieces. Uh, at some point, Josh, I think, will be saying something about their pieces. Uh, so, big round of applause. They're going to start at the back room. I think they're going to come forward after.
thank you all very much. Uh, we are Pito Jene, which is a, a group that, uh, that attracts at the uh, University of Toronto, and uh, Angel is one of our founding members. And uh, this is the group that we managed to put together. And, uh, in the uh, uh, of, of her absence, we feel very, very uh, much, and uh, uh, she was a really beloved member of, of our group. Um, that being said, we'll be playing uh, Angel to Drum, um, and uh, we're going to sit down and play one more short piece, and we'll come back for a tiny little thing. So uh, please, please enjoy, give us a second just to, uh, to, to get it. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much for that performance, guys. Uh, always, always powerful to hear. I just want to remind everyone. Bizarre. If you want to know more about the performances, there is information. Um, and if you want to know why it meant so much to Angel and her drumming group, uh, I mean, you can tell just by listening. But uh, there is more information inside. So um, there will be another performance coming up. But first, we're having sort of an unofficial food break. So if anyone wants a snack, there's fresh fruit and other things uh, on the tables behind you. So and. Uh, drink Drinks, juices. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Apparently, there's coffee too. The apparently there is finally coffee. <laughs> right now, looking for coffee before we sorted that out. So, uh, yeah, okay. please feel free. If anyone wants to have a snack now, go ahead. Um, just we're having a little, not a break. Two minutes. A little two minute break. Yeah. So, go ahead. Yeah. Our next performer will be coming up soon. But I just want to say that uh, Angel, I think as we all know, was one of the most creative people you could ever meet. Um, whether it was just writing a song or a poem or planning some elaborate multi-person uh, improvisational performance in a coffee shop, which is something she had done. I don't know if she ever finished it, but I, I do remember her talking about that. So here to sing one of her songs uh, is Megan with the song Phoenix Feather, and she's going to say some more words about it. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Um, I first met Angel, our first year of undergraduate. We were actually roommates together. Um, and we had to share this one bedroom, just the two of us. And you'd think that it would be a terrible experience. It really wasn't. Other than my husband, she's been the best roommate I've ever had. <laughs> we had our troubles, of course, but you know what? She's amazing. We lost track for a couple of years and we got back together again. And just, I treasure that time very much. Um, and. This song, she wrote this song, she's kind of in a musical theater stage, kind of. She was uh, auditioning for some crews that unfortunately she didn't get, but uh, she wrote this song, yeah, it was great. She was very, she was prepared, prepared for that for quite a while. <laughs> um, and she wrote this song, and I remember the first time she sang it for me, I just had goosebumps all up and down my body. It was just phenomenal, it's okay. <laughs> um, so it's, it holds a lot of significance for me, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs of hers. Um, she has many, many songs that I love and treasure, and there, a lot of them are on the CD at the back there. Uh, so I wanted to perform it for her. Um, she had always wanted me to perform, always wanted me in her choir, um, and I never did, unfortunately. And uh, so now's my chance to sing it for her. Um, I want to thank uh, Evan for not telling me to be quiet when I'm singing this at 3 in the morning very loud, and Adrian for being wonderful and being able to transcribe the music from a YouTube video. Um, she's incredible. And so without further ado, this is for you, Angel.
person that we all loved so much um, and who inspired me so much and thank you so much for sharing those words. I wasn't at those events so I really appreciate hearing like all of her brilliance. Um, I first met Angel um, in 2005, was it 2005? I lived there, I lived with <laughs> Maria and Leaf in a second and third floor apartment on Euclid Avenue. And I remember Angel, you know, she had a lot of friends, she was out a lot, like I didn't see her around the house much, but I remember being in my home one day, just being in my room, I, I, don't, I can't remember what I was doing, but just pottering about, and um, I heard something from above. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Is that the stereo? Is that, no, that's not the stereo, that's somebody singing. That's somebody singing, that's somebody in our house singing like that and I like I just I went up there and I was like what the hell <laughs> like for real um, she as Megan said she um, was so nurturing to the people the musicians around her the people the kind of closet music lovers around her you know she'd be like I gotta do something come sing with me come do this with me and um, I just I really like that was just such a um, an incredible thing about her. She was such a nurturing person. She was like, I would, like, I, me, we always call her a natural teacher because she was always like, come, get up, you're doing amazing, you have such a resonant voice <laughs> that stayed with me, right? So those kinds of things. Um, and one more thing I want to say before I go into it um, is um, just like the songs that she sang, the songs that she covered, um, when I would hear her sing those songs, they became hers. So for example, this one song that I'm going to have chunks of it in, uh, I'm going to sing little pieces of it through the poem, um, is one song that, you know, it wasn't written by her, but when I hear it, I'm like, Angel sang it better, you know? <laughs> so, this is hers. This is called Maybe. Because you chose. Because you felt you had no choice. 25 years and my life is still Trying to get up that great big hill of hope. Sing along if you know it. 
for a destination. I realized quickly when I knew I should that this world was made up of this brotherhood of men. For whatever that means. Maybe because you were afraid. Maybe because you weren't. Maybe because I loved you and it wasn't enough. Maybe because I loved you and it was. Because of what we could agree on. Because of what we didn't. And so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out what's in my head and I, I am feeling a little peculiar. And so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream at the top of my lungs what's going on? And I say So uh, I love to sing. I do it as a hobby, just for fun, and, and usually by myself in private. And I probably wouldn't even do that. I probably wouldn't even sing in private anymore if it wasn't for Angel and the few times that we, the times we played together. So I may uh, I'm gonna sing a song here, "The Heart of the Matter" by Don Henley, which is the first song I ever played for. So if I seem to zone out or I'm not paying attention to you, it's because I'm remembering the first time I played it. Uh, in her apartment at Chestnut, if anyone remembers that. So I'm kind of, might have a little out of body experience here. I got the call today that I didn't want to hear, but I knew that it would come. No true friend of ours was talking on the phone. She said you'd found someone. And I thought of all the bad luck and the struggles we went through. How I lost me and you lost you. What are these voices outside love's open door? Make us throw off our contentment and beg for something more. I'm learning to live without you now But I miss you sometimes The 
more I know, the less I understand all the things I thought I knew. I'm learning again. I've been trying to get down to the heart of the matter, but my will gets weak. And my thoughts seem to scatter, but I think it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness, even if, even if you don't love me anymore. All these times are so uncertain. There's a yearning undefined, and people filled with rage. We all need a little tenderness. How can love survive? In such a graceless age. Oh, the trust and self assurance that leads to happiness. They're the very things we kill, I guess. Oh, pride and competition cannot fill these empty arms. And the work I put between us, you know, it doesn't keep me warm. And I'm learning to live without you now. Miss you, baby. The more I know, the less I understand all the things I thought I figured out. I have to learn again. I've been trying to get down to the heart of the matter, but everything changes. And my friends are scattered, but I think it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness, even if, even if you don't love me anymore. Saturday, 5 to 7 at 388 Carlisle. <laughs> this is called this is called all kinds of people. Of people 
in and out and in and out again. All kinds of people, they can sing or you can swear. She was born in Sinclair, dropped the air, and Angel was there. speak to that as our next performer, uh, Julio. Julio, uh, it's Julio. There he is. And, uh, Julio. Hi everyone. I'm very bad about uh, talking, so I'm going to try. I met Angela at uh, and she went there one night and uh, she stole my best song. That I have been singing for two months already, but she sang it beautifully. Everybody was, don't sing that, he sings that. It doesn't matter, she sang it beautifully. And then she kept coming and, and she became, and she was very humble and she would tell the story differently. She said she, she sucked when she sang it and she was very bad. She was the queen of the open mic, not only because of her beautiful music attitudes, but because of her personality. And um, I have picked a song that uh, I went to share with her many times, is, uh, but I never had the chance, like many things. 
and uh, I think it represents her very well. It's, about, uh, it's an old anthem, although she wasn't very religious, but this song is, the words remind me of her. Life goes on in endless song. A poor lamentations. I hear the real no far off drum. Da a new creation through all the trouble and the strife I hear its music ringing sounds like an echo in my soul How can I keep from singing And all the tempest loudly roars I hear the truth, it liveth, and all the darkness round me close. Songs in the night, it giveth, no storm can change.
So this is one of the songs that uh, she had uh, wanted us to cover for the choir. We weren't able to finish it, so I'm just going to do a rendition. This is uh, Crazy from Niles Berkeley. <laughs> Oh, 
God above That's all I ever learned from love Was how to shoot at someone who outdrew you It's not a cry you can hear at night It's not someone who has seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. songs that uh, she had, you know, uh, I think Yayo was saying before, songs that she would sing and claim as her own, that was absolutely one of them. It was like, you know, for me it was Leonard Cohen, Jeff Buckley, Angel, her, her version of those songs. That, that was really like, and, and uh, that one we just heard now by uh, Philippe and Carlson and Melissa is right up there now as well, it's just gorgeous. Uh, so coming up next again is... <laughs> Pichot Junet, hopefully I got that right. I made her say it. Uh, Pico Jr., I think, yes. Uh, the, the Korean drumming circle from before to uh, close this out. So thanks, everybody, and uh, let's enjoy one more performance. <laughs> That was, I mean, this has been this is such an amazing day in so many ways, my God. And now we're going to play the really loud drums again. <laughs> we feel a little bit, you know, uh, uh, awkward, awkward or something, but, uh, but listening to this whole range of, this sort of rainbow of, of things that we've heard all day, and thinking about all the different sides of, uh, of Angel really reflected in, in all of her friends and, and uh, colleagues and so on that we've seen uh, today and in, in the group that she started and the people that she inspired and so on. This, this music is a farmer's dancing music. It's for festivals, the main piece of the day. Is, Angel was, was one of the most, uh, the first people who were going to say our slogans when we say slogans in the city seated piece that we did. Uh, it's about, it's something you sing at the, at the new moon, and it's about, or at the, at the first full moon of the new year, and it's about a new um, uh, beginning, you know. And uh, one, one thing that, trying to make sense of all these different sides of Angel that I've seen today, you know, this, this side was maybe the, just the, just the smiling side, you know, the celebratory side, and the beginning side, and, the, and, the, um, and uh, that, together with all the other sides of Angel, reaching really deep into her heart and touching other people in so many profound ways, seems to me to make a kind of uh, really an amazing picture. So uh, <laughs> this is my way of trying to explain how the, the really loud and obnoxious you know, drums fit into this whole program of absolutely beautiful songs and, and speeches and so on and so forth. So um, uh, just a great thanks to all of you and a great thanks to Andrew uh, for making all this happen.
Wow. Yeah, yeah. Was... I didn't want to dance, but uh, how can you enjoy it? How can you not? Oh, how can you enjoy it? Awesome. So it seems that we've come to the end of the agenda for the evening. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. We truly appreciate it, and we hope that you enjoyed the concert and have had a good time. And let's see so many amazing, amazing performances. You all were absolutely wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, I also want to give a special thanks to uh, Carlson and Philippe, who brought a lot of the equipment that you see, and uh, they set it all up, and essentially just volunteered to handle the stage management uh, of their own volition. So thank you so much. Great job, all of my guys. Really fantastic. Yeah. Really good. So, yeah, a, a round of applause again for all the performers again today. Everyone just... Please be sure to sign the guest book. There's a guest book back there as well. Uh, oh, is there another? Okay, I thought someone was waving at me to get some sort of secret message. Uh, partake, food, drinks, mingle, have fun, mingle, and, and guys, celebrate, guys. Mingling part of yes, the Thank you all for coming again. Thank you. Thanks, Megan.